Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the Metaverse Pirate and as you can see I'm not wearing controllers. This is the hands-free movement and you have to be uh, very careful because it's very sensitive but you have to practice a lot. So um, for some games you need controllers but for some games you can use your hands. So this is my V79 uh, navigator. Not all people have it because I'm on the public testing channel. So let's have a walkthrough. Um, so if I'm doing like that, so I can uh, center my appearance like that. This is the Oculus button. And over here is the menu button. So it looks very good, so I can do everything. So let's click on the navigator. There you can see all my apps. And if I click on that, you can pin it like that. And if you go to the browser over there, you can even um, have web pages and put them inside your library. So if I go over here, then this is my bookmarks over there. So I can uh, have my ChatGPT over there. So I can talk to my ChatGPT over there. So um, I can put it to sleep over there with a minus sign. So it's sleeping uh, right now. And you can have four or five programs inside it. So let's have a look over there. So this is all. So you can scroll like that. But you have to practice uh, a lot with the uh, hands-free. Then you have the apps. So these are all my apps, Worlds, Big Screen, Beta, uh, my gallery, where I keep my recordings, of course, Worlds, Spatial, and so on. So you can pin them. And then you have the Worlds, and then you have also your all your downloads uh, program programs over there this is my camera recording um, I can make it uh, show windows and this is the library so um, let's go over here and this is the quick controls so this is um, the battery strength uh, the uh, strength of the battery of the controllers but I'm not using the controls Monday 21st of July. Well, today is a very special day because so many years ago, um, Neil Armstrong landed it on the moon. I remember that as a kid. Well, this is my Wi-Fi and the name of my Wi-Fi transmitter is Osiris. Uh, Bluetooth, do not disturb, pass through, remote desktop, I don't use that. Travel mode, uh, when you're on the airplane. You can also casting like that and report a headset issue, but uh, um, I already did that, but no response from Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, live captions. So let's go to the settings over there. Okay, so I'm uh, having the software update. Let's have a look. You're all up to date because I have the V79 1029 from the uh, 18th of July, so three days ago. So I'm on the public uh, testing channel. So security updates like that. And then uh, let's go back over there. So it's very, um, the quick controls, the storage, the iCloud backup time and so on. And then you can go to the environment setups, uh, if virtual environment. So you can choose, let's say, um, Oceanar an oceanarium, <laughs> that's a tongue twister. Oceanarium, yes, let's go. Oops, one moment, it's activating. Yes, I'm, uh, but now I have to look for my mirror. So we will go to the lakeside. One moment, yes, and this is my favorite one. So if I want to go over there, I can see my headwear over there. This is my headwear. So, um, there you have it. So, if I look around like that, so I can see uh, the sun over there and the trees. But I cannot travel. Um, 
if I want to travel inside my home, I need my controllers. So as you can see, the movements of the hands are, well, <laughs> it's a great improvement with the V79 uh, update because uh, Mark Zuckerberg and his team is using artific artificial intelligence. So if I go to um, world over there, you can see my mouth move. Okay, you can make it also bigger like that. Oops, and then you can fiddle it around. One moment. It's you see, you can fiddle around your thingies over there. You can put it also to sleep. Uh, exit theater view, and then you can put it to sleep over there. Now I have uh, two programs who are sleeping now. So let's go back to the navigator, uh, to the settings over there. Uh, movement tracking, so hand and body tracking. You have to have to switch it on automatically. Switch between controls and hands, on, on, on. Uh, auto switch sensitivity, expanded quick actions enables access to more shortcuts. While using hands, face your palm and hold your thumb and index finger together. If enabled, double pinch for invoking portable will not be available. So I will not switch that on. So uh, this is experimental, you have to be very careful. So let's have a look to advanced over there. Um, these are the experimental height camera and call controls and apps, but I don't use that. External microphone, that's for in the future. Enable, well, there are a lot of buttons uh, you don't switch on. Uh, privacy and safety, that's very important, especially on the MetaQuest like that. And this is the audio, and I like that. So you can lower the app and media volume. Uh, notification sound plays a sound when you receive a new notification. And spatial audio, because if you're in some games, you can hear uh, spatial audio like that. Well, this is getting more and more real. So uh, I can do like that. Well, there you have it. Okay, this was a, a short demonstration of the uh, Navigator, and the latest improvement from uh, three days ago. And it looks, uh, well, just great, and especially the environments. Um, it's uh, real. And if I, you have friends, you can invite friends uh, in your homes and then you can watch together uh, YouTube movies and talk, well, like your, uh, well, so uh, this is the future, but um, it will never be like that movie uh, Ready Player One from Steven Spielberg. <laughs> we'll still have to wait for that uh, five or ten years, I think, because um, the metaverse is not what it is depicted in that movie Ready Player One. One. Okay, let's stop this show windows. Okay, stop. Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, little update of the V79. And I hope uh, you're um, liking this video. Please subscribe and give it a like or a dislike. Okay, want to beam up, Mr. Scotty?